The ongoing drought affecting parts of the country continue to bite amid fears that the problem could turn into a crisis if the expected long rains fail. Ministry of Environment and Regional Development forced to put in place mitigation mechanism to avert a possible human-wildlife conflict with wild animals venturing out of their enclosures in search of water and pasture. Environment Cabinet Secretary Professor Judy Wahongu says all game reserves across the country have been supplied with enough water to sustain wild animals for a period of six months. Her sentiments coming in the wake of concerns by experts who warned that there could be massive wildlife fertilities as a result of the prolonged drought. Thousands of people, mainly pastoralists, have been forced to leave their homes in search of water and pasture for their animals. A state of affairs that has hit hard in Turkana County with a section area of residents forced to relocate to neighboring Uganda in the hope for better fortunes. Most affected are those from Lokuriyama, Orum, Lorengipi, Naipa in Loima sub-county with others coming from Turkana North and Turkana West. The current statistics from the National Drought Management Authority and the Kenya Red Cross Society indicating that over 10,000 animals have died as a result of the ongoing drought. Last year, the government approved 21.6 billion shillings, an amount required to cushion Kenyans from the adverse effects of drought, at least until July this year. The money was divided in three phases with 5.4 billion shillings allocated for the first phase, which covered November, December and January this year. Reporting for Channel 1 News Hour, I'm Kaltun Jama.